Hello, my name is Ming Hu. I am a PhD student from Brigham Young University. This is a presentation over our paper, A Newcomer's Lens, a look at K-12 online and blended learning in the Journal of Online Learning Research. The other three authors are Karen and Dr. Leary from Brigham Young University and Dr. Barber from Toro University. In this presentation, I will briefly introduce four sections of our paper, which are introduction, methodology, results, and conclusion. In 2011, Dr. Richard West from Brigham Young University introduced a new series called Journal Analysis Series, which was published in the magazine Educational Technology. At the time, Dr. West wrote that to better understand the field of educational technology, it was her before to review some of the journals that publish work in this area to see what conversations are being held, research being conducted, tools being developed, and the theories being accepted. However, only a small percentage of articles in the more general distance online learning journals focus on the K-12 environment. In 2015, the Journal of Online Learning Research was established to publish articles related to the uh, theoretical, empirical, and the pragmatic understanding of technologies and their impact on pedagogy and policy in primary and secondary online and blended environments. Given the growing importance of this journal as a publication outlet for scholars of and research into K-12 online and blended learning, it is important to begin and to understand the topics, types of articles, authors, and top-cited article, articles of this journal in an effort to provide insight into the larger context of the field. As such, the purpose of this study was to conduct an analysis of J-O-L-R with uh, respect to article topics, geography, research methods and article types, authors and citations using procedures similar to those used in the journal analysis theories. To complete our analysis, we reviewed over 51 articles published in JOOR between 2015 and 2018, excluding editorials and book reviews. This study analyzed those articles for trends in topics, article types, authorship, geography, and citation, citations. Specifically, to analyze the article topics, we entered the 51 as abstracts into a text lister, an online text uh, analysis tool, which extracted the top relevant two and three word phrases to determine the journal's central topics. Uh, then we examine each of the articles to determine either the geographic location of the study being reported or the geographic focus of the article itself. Mm, generally, the geographic focus was referenced in the abstract and or methodology portion of the art portions of the article, uh, although the entire article was reviewed to determine the geographic focus. Uh, we also examined each of the articles to determine the geographic location of the author based on their 
a institutional location. The JOLR website provides the authors' names, each authors' institutional affiliation, and the country where each institutional affiliation is located. We reviewed this information and categorized the authors according to the country or their institutional affiliations. Uh, article types and methodologies analysis. We used a similar coding methodology that Dr. West and his colleagues used in the journal analysis series. Each article was coded. According to six possible categories to identify the methodological trends,、uh, descriptive, infer- inferential, interpretative, theoretical, content analysis, and combined methods, we assigned each article to a single category, and those. Articles with elements of more than one category were assigned according to the primary characteristics. Authorship analysis: We conducted the, the analysis of authorship by extracting the frequency of each author's contributions. That is the number of articles that they authored or co-authored. We then employ the points scale, giving first authors three points, second authors two points, and the third authors and beyond one point. Citation analysis.、Mm, we analyzed the Google Scholar using the publish or Perich software to examine the number of citations for each article, as of thirty、uh, first December two thousand eighteen, we analyzed all fifty one articles published between two thousand fifteen and two thousand eighteen to identify the twelve top cited articles. Each of which was cited seven or more times. For the article topics, the findings showed that Belinda Longling and online teachers、uh, were the most frequent topic of phrases. The other topics, face-to-face, online, and blended students with disabilities, communities of engagement, professional development, and high school. We all included in articles that focused on some aspects of online and or blended learning. Of particular note is the topic of professional development, which was the topic of thirteen articles. Hmm, just over a quarter of the articles we sampled for this study. Geography. There were five. Articles that had no specific geographic focus,、uh, or we were unable to de-、uh, determine the location. For example, one study was a review that and analysis of documents on key to truth online and blended teaching competencies and geography was irrelevant to this study. Uh, with the exception of these five articles, the vast majority of articles with the geographic focus published by J O L R focused on the United States. There was one article focused on each of the following: Turkey, Brazil, and India. All but one of the studies were conducted in the country of the author's institution. However, it is worth mentioning that the one study that did not follow this trend involved authors from multiple countries.、Mm, similar to the results that the majority of the studies occurred、uh, in or were focused on the United States. 
93% of authors' institutional affiliations were located in the United States, uh, which indicated that the geographic focus of the study was almost always aligned with the geographic location of the author's institutional affiliations. One of the uh, exceptions to this pattern was when two authors from Brazil, together with one another from Canada, uh, conducted a study set in Brazil. Article types and research methods. The most common methodological category was interpretive. However, there was only one fewer inferential study than interpretive studies. Content analysis and the descriptive methods made up only a few proportion. Authorship. The 51 articles have a total of 123 authors. Gerard Borab was a top author in this journal with the greatest number of the publications and the highest author rank. Mm, Gerard Borup, David Adelson, and uh, Nina Archibald each published two articles as the first author. Of these listed authors, it should be noted that Gerard and Nina are current editors of J-O-L-R, although none of the articles published by Gerard were during the time when he has been an editor. Interestingly, uh, although 86% of the articles had two or more authors, most of the authors, uh, about 93% of the authors, published only one article. Citations. As would be expected, the articles from 2017 and 2018 were too recent to have any meaningful citation counts, which was likely why there were no articles from those years in the charts. Similarly, Gerard Borup who had published the most articles and received the highest author rank, was also one of the most cited authors. In addition, David Edelstein, Nina Archambault, Michael Barber, and Charles Graham were among the most cited list. These top cited articles covered all methodological categories except the descriptive category. A conclusions. In general, JOLR complies with its aims to publish articles related to the theoretical, empirical, and pragmatic understanding of technologies and their impact on pedagogy and policy in K-12 online and blended environments. Specifically, according to our analysis, the additional attention JOLR has given to blended contexts uh, sets it apart from previous literature that focused primarily only on K-12 online learning. Uh, this journal or also raises awareness of the importance of teachers' prof professional development in online and blended environments. And we found that most of the studies on K-12 online and blended learning occurred when we were conducted in the United States. Similarly, most of the researchers' institutional affiliations were in the United States, uh, were so the fact that um, 115 of 123 authors in our study had published only one article may indicate that uh, the field is attracting new scholars or data scholars who have other research agendas 
are finding that their interests overlap with issues in the K-12 context. Uh, finally, JOLR favors inferential and interpretive articles with 58% of the uh, 51 articles using those two methods. Thank you very much.